Hey everyone, how about here? We're going to on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be going over the new Carnival featured LR Family Kamehameha Gohan and it's 200% team. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So of course, I did one of these on Broly, which is a little bit more difficult to figure out. Okay, great. You know, what do we build here in 200% in versus 170? This is a lot easier, and I wasn't going to make this video, but you guys had some requests. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do this. I will fully, fully complete this in my full breakdown once the data download comes out. But I figured I'd just really quickly run through um, this unit here. So again, we're just focusing on the leader skill and the team builds. And we'll talk a little bit about his passive and how you should probably position this unit as he builds up because this is a more of a build up unit on here so when you look at the 200 percent it's a lot easier to figure it out because it's just one category right so this is kamehameha and my initial response was like okay we needed a kamehameha 200 percent leader this is going to be fantastic however i looked into the units that we have and it isn't as clear cut as i thought it would have been in the units that you're going to be using because I did this with the 200% for the Legendary Super Saiyan Broly Dokkan Festival Exclusive LR and it was clear what you wanted to bring on the team. Now every time you want to build a team, especially if it's 200%, you want to look at the LRs that are available. So these are the LRs that are available in the 200% for Kamehameha. And you always want to look for five units, right? So five units that you can put on the team and works very well and you want technically two units that are first position units because I'll talk about this passive a little bit here um, the Gohan family Kamehameha Gohan here is not a turn one first position unit as he builds up possible right but ultimately you want other units to be that in that first position so it, it pretty easy to look at like four I'd say if the fifth one you're like okay there's some options I can choose in the LR realm, um, so I would say, of course, LRGGT, uh, UI Tech Goku, uh, MUI Goku, right? So those are the three that those are standouts here. You can have uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken of Wish Vegeta. Uh, I guess you can even want for first position. Uh, I guess if you're running LRGGT here and he gets the boost, uh, I, you know, I, you know, Vegeta Blue could be an option. Um, you have Super Vegito right so you do have some of that that fifth fourth fifth position so it's not as clear right you can run the super saiyans here again if you if it's boosted up by this unit um the nice thing is lrggt is on the team making that boost uh help out on a lot of different units now i'm not going to really cover all exactly like the different builds with like maybe not beast gohan and things of that nature uh i'll, I'll be doing that in the full full breakdown but there are a couple units here you're going to have to look forward to for this team, right? So for, for starters, I feel like this unit here is going to get an EZA very soon, sometime before the end of the year. Um, so when that happens, the Super Gogeta here, I think it's going to be a very, very strong unit. And it's going to really round out this team very, very well. On top of that is these two guys right here. They're six months away, less than six months away, right? Um anniversary so generally speaking in our anniversaries um the two years prior lr anniversary units they get their ezas and remember what happened with these guys right mui goku evolution vegeta are just beasts of ezas that you're basically using on every single best teams um that you can right and i'm very interested in seeing what these look like so uh, i would say these three are right around the corner for getting really solid EZAs, and um, that's going to really help this team quite a bit. Now, when you look at TURs, uh, you do have, of course, more options, but you can really look at like so many irrelevant TURs in the game at this point in time, right? There's just a ton of it. Um, there's a few units you're like, oh, okay, yeah, Goku Black is on this unit uh, on this team here, but you're not going to use them because you you want to make sure you have super class units with with Gohan and a standby. But ultimately, you know, you have units like, like, seems like Goku is on every single team. <laughs> uh, but of course, he's a great unit to use if you have, uh, you know, he needs, he needs orbs, right? But, uh, and a super class team. So this unit is uh, a unit that you want to make sure that uh, if you're missing on a particular unit, that's a good substitute here. Now, the interesting thing is um, 
Gohan here is on the Majin Buu saga, right? So this one was a huge benefit. You know, we complain about Dokkan not putting particular categories on units that should have the category. In this in this case here, it was a surprise because he is a movie hero. He's in movie 10, but they ended up saying, you know what, we're going to add this unit here into the Majin Buu saga. So units like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, units like Buu, these units also run Kamehameha as well so they can be absolutely great options for you to run on this team and uh, and anyway just sprinkled around around here there are a few other options but nothing that's going to stand out between the LRs that you're going to be really using uh, really to build a team here right so so one of the things I do want to talk about, again, I'm not going to do a full breakdown here, that, that will happen in the full video, is uh, the password skill here, when you read through it, you're like, okay, you kind of have a good idea of what this unit is going to look like, right? It's key plus 5, attack and defense 200%, plus an additional key plus 2, and attack 40% up to 200, and defense 30% um, up to 150 with each attack performed. So there's the buildup here that needs to happen. Uh, because everything else is going to his attack, attack, you know, great chance of coming a super attack, which is nice because you do have a defensive boost on super attack, both 18 key and 12 key. Uh, but then a more attack here and then HP restriction. But right here is the most important piece right here is that when there's another Kamehameha or Earth Red Fighters category ally attacking in the same turn, plus an additional key plus two and guards all attacks. And then if your HP is 77% or less, when receiving an attack, high chance of evading enemies' attacks. So you're going to get guard and a 50% chance to, to dodge, which makes it a lot better to, to run. So technically speaking, if your HP is under 77%, uh, you're guarding and dodging, and um, if you're off, all off build up, you could possibly put this unit in first position. Um, so, but I would start this unit in second or even a floater. I think the teams that I'm going to be showing you are just going to be in second position, right? So, uh, anyway, th so this team, this unit isn't as, you know, crazy strong as LR Tech Broly or the, um, or the, uh, the Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Broly. Neither, the, I think both those words are better than this unit. And I think this unit is an interesting unit because it's going to go standby. It has uh, an ability for a finishing attack, much like LRGGT. I think LRGGT is still better. But overall, this is going to be a fun unit to have because it does lead a, a great category, which is Kamehameha. But remember, right now, I would say Kamehameha needs a few other units. Um, it's still a great team. But man, when certain units EZAs, like I mentioned before, especially on the LR side of things, these two and this one here uh, this is gonna be moving up in the rankings for sure for sure so let's go ahead and talk about the team builds here and let's start with just the 200 percent right that's where we're gonna focus on oh actually that's all we can have because it's a 200 percent lr um carnival unit right one category command me and that's it so you, you might run something like this really to start off with and that's going to be mua goku and uh, tech ui goku in first position because that's going to be a dodge mechanic right um and if he gets hit <laughs> all right he might you know get hurt quite a bit right because you know dodge or die on several different enemies um but generally speaking they can still take a, a hit really 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 well so uh so in first position and then as gohan builds up if you find yourself like you know what i'm going to put gohan first position that's still going to be fine on 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 that end so um some floaters you can use um super vegeto you can run as a floater um you can run uh, evolution uh, um, super saiyan blue kaioken and evolution vegeta as um another floater as well i did put lrggt as a floater support how wild is that right brand new unit on here floater support i understand you guys probably put him even in a first position if you wanted to i'm just putting him in floater support here <laughs> so um because i'm looking at okay well if i put him in this position would uh, or even put him in in second position and gohan being in first position would uh gohan be able to deal with um you know basically deal with the uh 
the ramifications of getting super attacked, right? So I think once built up, there could be a shot on there. So you can still put him in main main rotation if you like, uh, because you kind of do want to do that because of his you know seventy seven percent you know build up, right? So uh, for two turns. But anyway, uh, I, I'm I'm just to make this team look even crazier. You're gonna have LRGGT as a floater support. Um, which he is in a sense of support, but he loses support when he goes finishing, uh, standby and finishing attack, right? So uh, another another way you can run this is actually using um, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku in first position. So if you forget, he is incredibly tanky for like six turns, right? So um, he loses 15% per, per turn, but he starts at a 90% and then he builds up some damage reduction as well. Um, so like, I think it just evens out around like um, like 30% when it's you know longer in uh, in a fight. So this is more in lines of you, you gotta you gotta finish the enemy as fast as possible. Luckily, we got two units here on standby that can have strong finishing attacks uh, in LRGGT, and um, you have two Gohans here. So um, so all you're doing is just kind of waiting it out, get into standby and then crush them at the end um and then super saiyan 3 goku is actually a, a, f a fun unit to just be in that position take all the damage and then just start building up and building up um other units that you can run on here as alternates right uh, you can run any of the booze as floaters um if you're gonna run vegeta blue again you might just have to put gohan as like a, fl a floater uh, not in main rotation because I think you really need LRGGT to be um, in the main rotation for Vegito Blue. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have EZA Gohan on Kamehameha, the uh, the tech got you know uh, Gohan right there. So, um, but you have that that ultimate Gohan here, uh, which again it's a shame on there. This unit can be a support, so. You know, if you don't have LRGGT, you can run this unit as a support. It's just not as strong as LRGGT, of course. It's only a defensive support, uh, just like um, LRGGT, but, you know, it, it can be an alternative um, to some options some options on there. And that's kind of pretty much it. You run, you know, you can run, you know, not be Skohan. You can run some of these other units here as well. Uh, Vegito Blue on a, on a floater. Um, the Blue Fusions as, as floaters, third position floaters. Uh, things of that nature. Super Saiyans, I didn't even put them on there. I guess you can even run Super Saiyan 4 Goku in first position uh, if you're really desperate, right? So uh, so anyway, that's kind of the team that you can run with uh, with Gohan as the leader. So a couple options there. But kind of interestingly enough is the other teams that you can run with Gohan as well. One we just mentioned, he's on Majin Buu Saga. And um, and this is where you you it makes sense to to run this unit on uh, on sec position as well. I move Tekuai Goku down, so or you can just run him as a floater. Either either way. So this team, funny enough, both right both teams, um, you know, benefit from this. And Majibu Saga got a got really a, a boost in um, in this in this part two celebration which is very interesting I, I didn't expect that to happen for Majin Buu Saga so interesting that uh, we end up getting these amazing units in the Fat Buu and this unit here to run Majin Buu Saga so and of course you have the new LRGGT team uh, this is more like a floater position you want both LRGGTs in main, main rotation here um, I don't really see that you're gonna run this in um, in the main spot uh, over some of these other units on here, because LRGG does need you know certain units to be in the first position to you know to, to help them support. And you know, I, I wish we had a, a a much much stronger first position than than LR uh, Piccolo, but uh, I think ultimately um, it's still a, you know very very strong team. So, and then uh, movie heroes, you can run them in second position here as well as an option. Um, so this kind of actually fills out this team quite nicely, right? Fills out this queen, uh, this team quite nicely uh, because I did have just the support uh, exchange Vegito and Piccolo here in the main rotation. Now it's just it's, it's an alternate support that you can run there as well. So yeah, I think ultimately there there's some good options here. Uh, again, I will you know create some more variations and different ways to you know run 
different options. Maybe put Gohan as just a floater, and I think he will work fine there as well. But uh, ultimately, I, I think this is a fun team. I think it's, again, just kind of missing a few parts. Uh, once certain EZAs happen, this is going to be a monster, monster team. But it's very good right now. It's definitely in the top tier. Uh, we'll definitely put them in the top ten. I would say the question is, you know, will it be top five? Not too sure yet. Uh, we will have to test it out. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dog hunting. We'll catch you next time. Later.